I try not to worry, but I do worry. Yeah. What happens if we don't act? There is something fundamentally wrong in this world. We're just exhausting mother nature. I've used my voice all my life, and I'm hoping that the young people today will do it more and more, and that we will listen to them. It's their world. I want to have future. We are, right now, in the process of what's called the Great Shift. We all are responsible for that. This challenge is the greatest opportunity. We must try and be positive about this. We must be hopeful that it can be done. We are witnessing the end of the industrial age and a shift to the ecological phase of human progress. The only ones who can change it is us. That's what we could do, and better do it now. Let's seize this opportunity to take on a new course with a new mindset, with optimism and positive energy. For the good of this generation and all generations to come. Will all cars go electric? So Michael, please let me ask you this. Will Hyundai lead the move to electric? What do you think? <laughs> you know, Thomas, it's a question that I am asked all of the time. And of course, the answer is yes, we will. In fact, we were already doing so before it became mainstream. In fact, as early as 1991, with the Sonata Electric. That's a great point, actually, Michael. With this year's Ionic 5 launch, we have been able to open the next big chapter for Hyundai. As everybody knows, all Ionic models are built on the new electric global modular platform. This goes hand in hand with a couple of customer benefits, like faster charging, longer range, spacious interior. And we're already working on the next development of the battery. You know, for Ionic 5, I think one of the great features is the vehicle to load technology, which means that the customer can charge external devices through the power of the battery. Like e-bikes. Absolutely. And, and this is going to open up even further opportunities for our customers over the next few years, because the next development will be vehicle to grid. And that's a great opportunity because that then means that the customer can send the power back from the battery to the grid during peak hours, maybe even at a profit. So I think there's a really great opportunity and exciting times ahead for our customers. Our commitment uh, is in line with the global consumer trend. So electricity, so to speak, is our new fuel. And the thing behind which underlines our way of thinking about things in a very holistic way is that we are already working on solutions to generate green power. So in the end we decided to electrify the entire Hyundai model lineup in Europe by 2035 and in other major markets. I'm a great-grandmother. I have two great-grandchildren, a little girl is four and a little boy is one. What will the world be like when they are my age? My dear Tom, you are not even here, but we're already so excited to have you with us. Ava, your father and I were fortunate enough to see so much and still so little of our world. There's so many things we want you to see, experience and discover. We want you to feel a cold, cold winter with tons of snow and all the fun that comes with it. A summer where you're still able to play outside and go for a swim. We promise you to do our most to preserve this planet for you.
I have uh, kids and grandkids myself, and I'm actually thinking about the future as well. So like all parents, I want them to live in a very safe environment. I guess that's uh, quite natural. Of course it is. I mean, I'm a dad too. And it's why I'm so proud to be working with Hyundai, because you know we're with a company that is very forward thinking. We're looking you know, at how we do the right thing. And that's important because it's more than just looking at electric vehicles. We're looking way beyond that. Actually, we aim for more mobile than ever, with much less environmental impact. I guess this is, in the long run, key to success. How long will it take us to get there? Well, of course, that's the big question. We are moving very fast. So, in reality, you know, we're going to be introducing new technologies. For example, by 2023, we will introduce our Ionic 5 robo-taxi. And we anticipate that by 2028, we will introduce electrified urban air mobility. And the good thing is that we have more than one route to get us there. Yes, of course, we can use batteries, but we can also use hydrogen fuel cells. And as you know, both of these deliver high performance, but they also both reduce both CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. And of course, Hyundai is heavily committed to both. And we lead in both. And this is, I guess, from my point of view, very, very beneficial. Hyundai BEFs are well known, and Hyundai BEFs have great reliability and long ranges. So let's switch between perspectives by focusing on hydrogen for a while. Our fuel cell electric vehicles are game changers, so to speak, particularly for trucks, because they don't need loads of battery packs. That's why we are eager to introduce more commercial vehicles with fuel cell technology in coming years. Yeah, Hyundai is already running the fuel cell heavy duty truck in the Swiss Alps. And by 2025, we plan to have around 1,600 of these vehicles operating in Europe. This will definitely mean that commercial transport will be climate friendly and emission free. And now we are planning to sustainably expand our fuel cell portfolio. We'll be introducing two new fuel cell electric passenger vehicles by 2025, as well as a redesigned Nexo and four commercial vehicles later in this decade. We'll also provide fuel cell technology for different use cases, like ships, trams, forklifts, and even construction vehicles. Let me dream and think big for a while. I can imagine that Hyundai will play an important role in providing holistic services for mega cities like offering energy and mobility solutions. That is the real validation of Hyundai's leadership in hydrogen solutions. And of course, it also makes one thing very clear. Hydrogen is going to have a far-reaching impact on mobility, on the environment, in fact, on the very way that we all live. Mobility of the future. How do we avoid traffic in the future? Yeah, I'm Carl Yanyama. I'm the president and CEO of Motional, and I've been developing autonomous vehicles for my entire adult life. The Ionic 5 Robotaxi is the product of extensive collaboration between Hyundai and Motional. We're excited by this vehicle because it's our first commercial product. It's also the first time many people will experience driverless technology. So we look forward to launching this system in 2023. And we look forward to serving hundreds of thousands of riders with the Ionic platform. The societal benefits of driverless vehicles you know, are enormous. And first and foremost is safety. Emotional's driverless technology promises to greatly reduce or even eliminate the vast majority of accidents. Beyond safety, you know, driverless technology will make transportation more efficient, more reliable, and more affordable. You know, we've also celebrated our technology. We have prominently incorporated our sensors in the design. So you know when you approach this vehicle that you're getting into a robo-taxi, and we think riders will really be excited by that. The first thing we looked at was the Hyundai Electric Global Modular Platform. It ensures a spacious interior, and in the robo-taxi, passengers are free from driving, they can enjoy a comfortable living space while they relax, work, or socialize. 
this platform will allow people to have greater freedom of movement in their everyday lives. You know, whether that's a family with kids who just need some extra transportation resources, or a young professional who wants to make better use of his or her commute, or you know, elderly or disabled riders who don't have great access to transportation today. The Ionic 5 is the right vehicle for Motional from a sustainability perspective. It brings together the two most transformative technologies in mobility, electrification and autonomy. This is a zero emission robotaxi that will not only make transportation safer and more accessible, it'll make it more sustainable. And that was incredibly important to us as we thought about the role of autonomous vehicles in helping to create greener cities through smart mobility. So stay tuned to see how the robotaxi elevates our lifestyle and contributes to carbon neutrality, together with other platform solutions like urban air mobility and purpose-built vehicles. What does the city of the future look like? We are an incredibly smart generation, but behind the scenes, there's such a disconnect between sustainability and society. So if I could just press pause right now, I think that would be wonderful. I'm Matthew, I'm a 33-year-old architect originally from South Africa, and I design the cities of the future, inspired by nature. And we can look around, we can look at our buildings, we can look at our cities in a new light. We can automate the vehicles that take us to work, that deliver our packages, that clean our cities. We are creating these little microcosms. Self-driving taxis means less traffic, fewer emissions, so we can free up space that we never even realized was there. So we can turn parking lots into parks, roads into public spaces. Suddenly our dense cities have a better energy and flow. They're more livable. They become places where people can live well and they can be well. I think achieving a carbon-free world really centers itself around the principle of green hydrogen. And if we can put that and manifest that through every single element of our city, I think that's the key. In the world to come, everything you use, everything you experience can run on clean energy. It starts with green hydrogen, solar and wind energy, are used to make renewable electricity. We can then use this clean power to split water into oxygen and hydrogen, green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is expected to reduce six gigatons of CO2 by 2050. It will create 30 million new jobs. Green hydrogen, green power grids, and green factories. It all comes together in what we call the hydrogen society. So communities, even entire countries, will produce low-cost, zero emission hydrogen to fuel mobility, to heat and power homes and offices. This is part of the Hyundai hydrogen vision. To work toward creating a world that is healthier, more inclusive and eco-positive. Building a hydrogen society is a powerful, compelling idea. But to make it a reality, we also need to make it tangible for all of us. I really like the thought of actually being able to walk around in a hydrogen-powered world, to experience it firsthand. That's exactly the idea behind the Hydrogen Society Metaverse. It portrays what it's like to live in a hydrogen-powered world and gives generations the opportunity to experience the future. Welcome to the Hydrogen Society where hydrogen power drives an entire city. You may wonder, where does all that energy come from? These solar panels and wind turbines enable us to convert natural sources into electricity. Renewable electricity then powers a water electrolysis system, which breaks water into green hydrogen. Even when fuel cell trucks and vessels are en route, the only emission is water. This urban hydrogen power plant generates electricity from fuel cell stacks using green hydrogen. The remaining energy is stored by a system that reuses recycled EV batteries. We call it SLBESS. 
It secures a stable supply of renewable energy and even creates stunning night views. A new world, solely powered by hydrogen, now opens to you. Twenty years I've been in the environmental space through the lens of exploration. But I've never met anybody who hates nature. It's a miracle that we're on this planet, and the planet is full of miracles. But I think we've lost our connection. We're living at a really interesting time when there's a younger generation that has grown up with the narrative of a degrading natural environment, with climate change, with individuals like Redima, a smart young female activist. You know, she gives me inspiration and hope because there's a certain can-do mentality that comes with youth. We have to give them a voice, and they have a voice. Hi, Redima. How are you? Hi. I'm totally very good. How are you? Good. I'm very excited to talk to you. I was thinking if you had the chance to um, talk to a a global audience or talk to a CEO um, of any company and you had the chance to sit down with them, what, what would you say to them? I think is that their mind have been hijacked with profit and money. So what I would really ask them very firstly would be that which of your actions sort of makes will make me believe that they are going to achieve their targets or they are going to fulfill their commitments in the future as well. I really thank you for fighting the fight and keep on holding people accountable. So do not listen to others. Follow your heart, follow your dream, follow your conviction. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot change the world because with your voice, with your mind, with your community, you can change the world. Thank you. Thank you, Redeem. Bye. Bye. Nature is a magician and who doesn't love magic? When the world wakes up on the morning of September 6, 2045, we hope to welcome a new generation, a generation we call Generation One. They will be the first people born into the world with zero emissions, renewable energy, and 100% carbon neutral planet. This is the world Hyundai is building for them right now. A world where urban air mobility and robot taxis revolutionize the way we design our cities. Where moving through the world becomes seamless and effortless and allows us to devote more time to build connections with one another. Where homes and businesses run on electricity made from green hydrogen. Where positive energy spurs new business opportunities, infrastructures, and new jobs where we measure progress by how it benefits humanity. That is a future worth living in, a world worth building. For people and for all species on the planet, our endeavors won't stop at achieving carbon neutrality. We will keep turning our positive energy into progress until we realize a world truly sustainable for all. And please remember, to make this new vision a reality, we all need to work together. Tomorrow, at the Hydrogen Wave event, we will further explore that world and everything it has to offer. I warmly invite you to join us, and I hope to see you there. We listen to the ocean. To nature. Every species, we listen to the future. We listen to those carrying the responsibility for a generation that's not even born yet. We are all expecting Generation One, the first generation that will live carbon neutral by our efforts against climate change.